What is going on YouTube? Carter here, got another video for you. We're doing, uh, look at my new purple gloves. Aren't those cool? Uh, man, I love colors, guys. I just, I love colors. They make me so happy. And look at all the colors going on here. Uh, this is a pseudo unboxing. Okay, so I got a couple packages, packages in today. This is one, and this is one. And I didn't do an unboxing. I was lazy. The packaging... I would have to cover up a bunch of stuff. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if it's worth unboxing. But then I unboxed it. And I'm like, I got to show you guys because I think it's pretty cool. Um, and I don't think I'm just, you know, I'm not going to do a separate video on these. It's not worth it. So we're doing a pseudo unboxing. First, let's start with this guy right here. You know what this is? Arcane Designs. Uh, it's one of those rare companies where they caught my eye early on when I came across them. When I got back into knives, like, I don't know, eight months ago or whatever. They caught my eye, but just weren't really my thing and whatever. I got back into striders and stuff, but I, I kept seeing them and I kept liking them. And then as I got more into them and started to pick them up, I really, really liked them more and more. And they kind of took off and got more steam. So this is a rebuy. Um, this is the Crawler 2 V2 M390 Steel. This is the Satin and Gray, so on and so forth. You get your cool shiny stickers. I like shiny. Uh, but I had one of these in the full like PVD, full PVD with gold collars. You may have seen it on this channel. And then I did some uh, stone washing on it. And then I sadly, stupidly sold it and I regretted it. And then I came across this guy and I like this even more. So maybe it was meant to be because had I still had my other crawler, I wouldn't have picked this one up because I would have said I've already got one. So this one's cool because it's satin finish and on this Warncliffe blade with those grinds. Looks amazing. I also like this lighter colored titanium stone washing. Still don't like the gold collars, but we took care of that because I ordered a Zerkutai kit, or at least I ordered collars and a pocket clip last week from Arcane Designs. Uh, they didn't have the backspacer available. That would have been cool. I don't know if they do. It's pretty big, pretty big piece of... Zerku tie here because that's a big backspacer, but uh, they don't have the backspacer, but I did get the collars and the paper clip. No, the pocket clip. I'm patiently awaiting that to ship. It's driving me nuts. I actually thought that would arrive before this came, but for some reason it's taken a little longer for Arcane to ship the uh, accessories that I got. But this thing is going to look absolutely fire with those accents on here. I love Zerkutai. I love Arcane Designs. And I'm glad to have the crawler back. It's a really, really nice knife. I think I did kind of a mostly full review on this knife on my other version. I may do one where I show off the uh, with the Zerkutai installed. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Woo! We'll see. Um, do you see how that just yeeted this all the way over there? We'll see what happens. Uh, but for now, I'm glad I got this one back. I like this design. It's not my favorite, but... I like it nonetheless. I like how it has this opening hole in the flipper. And this one uh, is really, really good. Got a pretty good deal on it, pre-owned. Um, can't get these available from the site anymore. I'm sure they'll probably do another run at some point. Uh, but here it is. The Crawler 2 from Arcane Designs. Really, really cool knife. And when I get the Zerku tie on here, it is going to look amazing. So let's get to the one that the primary reason for the video and what I really wanted to show is post-mortem designs. I ordered some lanyards here. Now I wasn't sure, once again, these are actually tied together. So this order was not directly related, but they are completely related because I found out about this company because they did a collaboration with Arcane Design in the past. And I was like, what is that? And then I looked it up and I found out it was this company that did the collaboration. So I found their site and I ordered some uh, lanyards and I wasn't sure what to expect because essentially uh, these are just 3D printed little lanyard beads. And I didn't know how I felt about that. Obviously the design is key. That's the linchpin, but the actual execution is it's kind of a standard 3D printer print. And I didn't know if it was gonna be cool enough or substantial enough, uh, but I ordered four of them. They're moderately priced in my opinion. They're not expensive, or at least I don't think they're expensive. That's a relative term, but I actually think they're really, really cool. And I'll show them off here in one second. First, we've got the card right here. If you guys want to scan that, you can, although I don't know how you will unless you're watching this on a laptop and you've got your phone handy. Anyways, you can figure it out. Postmortemplastics.com as well. There is their IG. 
Uh, 3D printed technology manufacture our original designs and custom merchandise. So that's a big deal uh, because a lot of 3D printed items are either stolen or just purchased designs. They're not IP designs. These are IP designs. They do these designs. They do the files and then they print them. I'm not sure if the files themselves are for sale. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Sticker, another shiny sticker. <laughs> really, really cool. Whoever did the graphics for this company, uh, big thumbs up for them because it looks really, really cool. They've got a cool style and that's kind of what drew me to them. Uh, so post-mortem plastics right there. And then here is another sticker. This one's even cooler, post-mortem plastics. Uh, these stickers are totally, totally cool. Uh, I didn't know I was even going to get those. So that's awesome. Let's get these out of the way. So let's start with this guy here in a cool like teal color, but then it's got, um, it's got some glitter in there. Looks really, really cool. And these all came paired with a piece of paracord, which is also why I liked it. Cause I'm not big into paracording. I don't really like to tie my own lanyards. I don't want to have a bunch of uh, paracord on hand. And when I do, when I do do, when I do use lanyards, I tend to keep them simple. I don't do the complicated weaving. So I actually really like that it came with this. It's got like a little monkey fist type end to it tied there and just very basic and very simple. You can just throw this onto uh, whatever knife you want. Unfortunately, uh, this arcane design doesn't actually have a lanyard hole. So I could put it on this pocket clip right here if I want. Uh, but it would pair really nicely, especially with the Zerku tie. How many times am I going to say the word Zerku tie? I'm going to say it as many times as I damn well please. Uh, but the purple in particular would look really good with that. But I've got plenty of knives that do have lanyard holes that would also look really, really good. Uh, so this one is a kind of a grave, uh, almost like an outhouse grave type thing with a, a moon in there. Nice and recessed. It's got some cool... I wanted to say milling, but it's not milled. It's 3D printed, but it looks really good. The The execution is good. The material is really cool. It's just unique, right? I kind of got sick of seeing lanyards that are just titanium or zirconium or brass or steel. Um, it's cool to see other materials. And I'll be honest, I have no affiliation with either of these companies, by the way, in case you're wondering, I paid for all of this myself. I found all of this myself. Um, I found this through IG, through, like I said, connecting through some arcane design posts. Um, but one thing that, uh, kind of attracted me to these is I'm also sick and tired of lanyard beads banging around cause they're heavy hitting things, hitting my hand, um, kind of causes a, a problem. So I thought, man, maybe this 3d printed material is the way to go because this is super light. You know, it's not going to be hitting your car door. It's not going to scrape things. If you walk by, it's not going to be banging into your knife. Uh, kind of a cool concept. We'll see how it plant pays out, plays out. This one is purple. I love purple, obviously. This is kind of their proprietary crystal skull design that they do. And they do this in a lot of different versions. You'll see a black version here soon. They also do like oversized wall art versions of this and all kinds of stuff. It's kind of their, uh, almost like their mascot or icon of uh, what they kind of stand for, I guess. I don't know. But really cool. Nice skull. Nice play on the skull. It's not a cheesy... Hell yeah, brother skull. It's a kind of modern design crystal skull type thing going on. Same thing, paracord, purple. Uh, we'll do the other one here. So this one is black with cool iridescence glitter in there. Kind of gives it some more depth. Looks really, really cool. Figured I needed one black for uh, different knives that I have. And then this one's pretty cool too. So this is that same skull, but just a cross section inside of a purple helmet. Kind of big. This one's a little big. I'm not sure how I feel about it. And this one too kind of um, highlights kind of the, the pattern of the 3D printing a little bit more as well, which I don't know if I love, but still cool. Um, these are like, um, I believe this one was a little more. I think it was like 16, but I think these were like 13. Pretty, for, pretty sure it's free shipping. So uh, in my opinion, uh, you know, it's priced pretty dang well, um, I think. I don't know. These are pretty cool, but your opinion will vary, but... How sweet to have that white skull inside that helmet there. So post-mortem plastics and another arcane design. Uh, quick little unboxing for you. If you like these, check them out. Like I said, Instagram, probably Facebook. I don't know. I don't know if they're on Facebook. Uh, but pretty cool company. I like what they have. I'll probably, you know, I'll probably pick up some more. They did have a kind of a larger, like, 8-inch skull 
like this that I wanted to get so bad, but it's one of those things where it's like, what do I do with it? I could put it like in the frame in the corner of my videos or something. I've got so many like collectible toys and, and uh, uh, soft like Japanese style toys and they're just sitting around doing nothing. But I guess you could say the same thing about most of my knives as well. But I uh, almost bought one of those, but changed my mind at the last minute. We'll see. Maybe I'll pick one up one of these days. But all right, guys, I'm out. Quick unboxing, cool stuff. Check them out. Talk to you later. See you.